Okay, so I have one more slide to go through. This won't take long. So if you look on the last slide of all of the PowerPoint presentations, you'll notice something called the facial feedback effect. And that's the tendency of facial expressions to trigger corresponding feelings such as fear, anger, or happiness. We have these things called mirror neurons that are actually in our brains. When we see somebody else's emotions that light up, we can actually almost empathize just by looking at them because the corresponding neurons light up in our own brains. However, we can also do some things that are similar uh, by adjusting our own bodies in space. So, for instance, you uh, see the, uh, the experiment regarding cartoons when people have uh, uh, a pencil in their mouths like this versus like this. And if you notice, uh, which group tends to find cartoons funnier? It's the group that does that. So uh, pay attention to that experiment, kind of funny. Uh, they've done some research with folks that have had Botox, where you know where you inject this, uh, the, the botulism virus, which in, if, in effect, it paralyzes your, your nerves and it, and it lessens your ability to actually express yourself because it kind of releases wrinkles that way. But it also impedes your ability to you know, smile, uh, smile fully and, and you know, squint your eyes. So what they found is that uh, through fMRI is that it reveals slower reaction time and a blunted ability to process the feelings of others. In other words, we lose some of this empathy. Uh, it, it becomes harder for us to understand the emotions of others for folks that have gone through Botox. So that's fascinating research. Um, you'll notice uh, by Brinall and others in 2009 that people who sit up with their chest puffed out feel more confident in their written ideas than others sit down that, that sit down and, and write in a slouched posture. People who position their bodies in a high power versus low power situation, in other words, sit up tall in your chair, uh, they experience increased testosterone, feelings of power, and risk tolerance. So there are a lot of things that go along with just, you know, looking the part and acting the part. You tend to feel the part as well. Uh, they've, they've even gone so far to show that people whose chairs are leaning one way or another uh, can, de uh, can determine their political affiliation and their political leaning. So, uh, so pay attention to those things that, uh, that are behaviors actually influence uh, our beliefs. So hope you've enjoyed our conversation this week. Look forward to reading your discussion posts. And uh, with that, uh, oh, we have an exam next week. So pay attention to, I'll, I'll post some instructions for the exam uh, online and try to give you a little bit of a preview for what that'll look like. So take care. Email me if you have any questions. I'll see you around. Take care.